Hello everyone and happy 2023. Happy New Year. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe 2022 is already gone. And I told myself that I wanted to start making videos back here on my channel now that things are changing for me in my personal life. So I thought what best way it would be to kick off the new year with a brand new video about reborn making. And I posted a post here on my community wall and I saw quite a bit of people excited for me to come back and make videos. And honestly, you guys gave me so much like encouragement, so much excitement to be back. So. Thank you for welcoming me back and thank you for being back on my channel or if you knew welcome so let's just get to it guys we are painting or i am painting a reborn doll head here and i have been doing some painting off camera not a lot because my personal life had changed ultra drama dramatically and anyway now that i am back to painting I decided, hey, let's just film myself doing some work. This is not necessarily a tutorial, and I'm sure you guys won't mind, but you get to see me doing some painting, and you get to see how I do it, because I do get a lot of questions about my reborn painted hair. So thank you so much for being, you know, sort of curious about it, and I am so happy to be able to share this video. So anyway, <laughs> I feel like I have a lot of side notes to share with you guys because I haven't really been on YouTube for a while, so I wanna update you guys. But I'm going to refrain from doing that in this video and just focus on what you guys are looking at. So a lot of, of the work that I have been doing these last couple of years is reborn painted hair. And I have been helping my wife by doing the hair painting on most of her dolls, not all of her dolls, but I would say most of her dolls. So I'm very happy that I was doing that while I was not painting actual reborns these last couple of years because it helped me to keep my painting techniques, you know, versus forgetting how to use a brush. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but a two-year break is pretty long so um, it, I'm really happy that we you know we came together and like sort of like hey you know what you're gonna do painted hair and I'm like yeah oh my god yes I'm excited so anyway I'm happy that I did that and I feel like comparing my reborn painted hair that I'm doing now to a year a year and a half ago it really has changed and I think for the better I feel like I have found some really cool techniques to make the hair look realistic now I know I paint my painted hair different from other people some people like to do like a more newborn hair look and I really love a full set of hair on a baby. So if you've been following my wife's work, you uh, definitely have seen my painted work or you probably have bought one of our dolls and you've seen it in person. So I've been focusing a lot on full painted hair. I would definitely love to try and do a more newborn, more thinner hair look. So that'll be something for in the future, but in the meantime, you know, I'm doing this kind of hair. So just remember there's so many ways to paint hair, not just the way that I do it, but this is definitely one way. And if you enjoy it, well then keep watching. So I feel like I've been rambling a lot and not really talking about what you guys are watching. So again, this is not a tutorial, but I do have that planned in mind. So definitely stay tuned to the channel so you can see that. But what I am doing is just filming myself while I'm working. So I am painting here a doll that my wife just finished doing the reborn painting on. And now we're just, the last step is the hair. So now I'm doing the hair for the baby. And this baby happens to be a little redhead. So you won't see this a lot on my channel. So um, I'm so excited to like, this is the first video is a little redhead baby. And what I'm doing here is I am just painting the hair. This is what I call the first layer of painting. Now that you might be like, wow, that's the first layer. I already see work. 
on the baby. So the other work that you see on there has been done with a Prisma color pencil and it has been sealed so that the Prisma color pencil will not come off because it will easily rub off if you don't do anything to permanently set it on the doll. So I have done that as my first other layers but now we're doing the hair painting we're doing the actual I'm using Genesis heat set paint and I am painting it on the baby now if you're wondering what color I'm using I did mix a few different colors into my mix in order to achieve this tone and of course I could make the red a little bit more um, darker or less coppery and you can just add different colors into your mix to make that happen to give you a little gist of what is in the mix that i'm using for this baby there is some burnt umber there is some burnt sienna there is some genesis red there's also a little bit of black in there believe it or not actually quite a bit of black um, in there and i also use linseed oil I never noticed how much linseed oil I used in my different mixes until I started making videos and people started asking questions, but I do happen to use linseed oil a lot. Um, like I said, I didn't notice that I did and that I used linseed oil. Now, when I started painting, I wasn't using linseed oil at all. Um, it was something that was introduced to me. And then when I started using it, I started noticing the benefits and how the paint applies a little differently. And I just started automatically using it in some of my mixes and I just prefer it in some of the ways that I paint. So I do use linseed oil. So if you happen to use my tutorials, especially my more recent ones, you'll happen to see me use linseed oil. And if you're using my tutorial to paint your baby, you're definitely gonna need to get yourself a little bottle you don't need a big bottle just a little tiny bottle of refined linseed oil I get mine from Hobby Lobby but you can also find it at Michaels and I'm sure maybe local art stores um, it's definitely a common used item in the art world so I know I haven't talked much about what you guys are watching here again I'm excited for my first video and another point is that this is not an actual tutorial, it's just watching me painting, but I am trying to think of things to tell you guys that we would benefit from while you're watching this video or what kind of questions you might have. A common question that I get is which brush do you use do you use for hair? Now I noticed because I've seen other tutorials of other people here in the reborn world, they use a different brush than mine. Sometimes they use a very, very thin brush. Now I feel like you can use any brush that you like um, because every brush is gonna work different for different people. Like some people use a very, very thin brush, for example. Um, for example, sorry, I'm just so excited. Um, but the thin brush does not work for me at all. As you can see, I'm using a pretty fat brush, something that a lot of people wouldn't think that you can use for reborn hair. Um, you know, also the kind of brush that you use, it affects your results or what you're looking for. So if you are trying to do little baby hairs, I can see why you would use a thinner, thinner brush. Um, this brush might be a little more difficult to use for that. But anyway, I am just rambling on so I use whatever brush works for me um, sometimes I'll buy two of the same brush and the second one will not work the same as the first so I know it sounds a little crazy but that's just my personal opinion and with doing you know hair and painting reborn dolls since 2011 I feel like um, the brush really you're gonna find your own brush so just pick up a few brushes trial and error until you find you know your favorite brush and sometimes it's hard when you find the brush and then it just gets ruined with linseed oil because unfortunately the linseed oil can and it will dry out your brush so you want to make sure you wash it as soon as you're done using it and then when you wash it it kind of changes the texture of the brush hair so then there goes your favorite brush this is exactly what i'm talking about so um, back to what brush I use really just find the brush that you feel might work for you and try it out um, it might work for you and it might not work for me and what works for me will not work for you so try it out sometimes I go to Ross and I find these brush sets on there and sometimes those brushes have the 
best hairbrush. You would think that you might have to spend like $10, $15 for a nice brush, but I don't agree with that. I think just buy yourself a few set of nice, decent brushes, either at Ross, I've seen them at um, probably Marshalls, I'm not sure, but definitely like Hobby Lobby and Michaels, they also sell set brushes that are a lot less money than buying a single brush. And then just try it out. Um, and you'll find a brush. I know it's kind of hard, but that's just my advice on brushes. But I do share what I use. So I've shared it here as a short before on YouTube, um, but I'll make sure I'll cover that in a following video. And um, yeah, I, I love to share what I, what I use to see if it works for you too. But as you can see, even though it is a fat brush that I'm using for the hair here in this video, I am using a little tiny part of this brush. It's very thin, it sticks out, and that seems to be the only thing that I'm using on this brush. But <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I need to use this kind of brush, a fat brush with a tiny, tiny tip, um, but it just happens to work for me. So, and I find myself that with a different brush, I tend to use a different technique, like my whole um, hair look changes as well with the brush. So just, you know, <laughs> explore, don't stick to one because you'll notice that they paint differently and they'll give you different outcomes. So that's the fun thing about art and you know, the baby will never, they will all look the same. I, I like to experiment, try out new things and not every doll look like they have the same hair. So that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, yeah, that's my advice on brushes, at least so far today <laughs> in this video. So guys, I'm curious and hopefully you can help me out in the comment section. So for a future hair video, um, what kind of questions come to mind? What would you like to know? What would you like me to explain to you in a following video is pretty much what I'm asking. If you don't mind letting me know in the comment section to help me and guide me in future videos so that I can cover as much as I can in my tutorials, um, but yeah. I will tell you what I am going to do for the future of this hair to finish it up, the, the look. And then if you stay tuned to the end of the video, which is gonna be ending in about four minutes, I'm going to continue to do the hair stroke that you're seeing in this video throughout the entire head evenly with keeping some markers in mind, but that, that I will discuss in future videos with you guys, not this one because it's not a tutorial. But I'm going to finish this layer, I'm going to bake the head, and then I'm going to do another layer. And it, this layer is gonna be different from the first. The paint gets modified, and this is to help it look like 3D hair a bit, like more like give it depth, if that makes any sense. So, and after that, I will refine the look once again and focusing on giving it that depth look and then I'm done. So um, I will be sharing with you guys here soon the finishing product and the baby also has rooted hair um, in the lashes, sorry. <laughs> You're like, rooted hair? I thought it was painted. Rooted hair in the lashes. So she has um, hand rooted eyelashes in the color of a, it's a lighter red sort of, um, I feel like that's kind of how I see some redhead babies. Their little lashes tend to be a little lighter than their hair colors, so adorable. And another thing that I also like to do is seal the entire artwork that I just finished. So go over it with what I have in hand is thinning medium made by Genesis Heat Set Paints. So I go ahead and I do two layers of this on the hair to make sure that the paint stays sealed, that it doesn't rub off because even though it is permanent, guys, it can rub off little by little, little by little, um, you know, wear and tear. Um, well, not necessarily tearing, but when you cl clothe your baby, it um, rubs on the paint. So um, that's what I'm talking about. So adding that extra protection layer with the thinning medium or any type of finishing varnish um, that helps the little hair. Uh, last longer. So here is that layer that I was just telling you guys that I was going to finish one even look with some markers in mind to help it look realistic. And I'm going to go ahead and bake the hair and 
do those other layers that I was telling you guys about. And she's done. So are you guys ready to see the final look? What she looks like now, just waiting to go home. I, my wife needs to put this baby together and send her off. Okay, drum roll, please. Ta-da, here she is. So you can see that her hair tone looks different. It has changed. I've added some layers in there to sort of make it look a little, give it a little depth to it. And he, I keep calling her she sometimes, so I'm sorry. It is a little boy. Look at that hair. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. I really like it. And I have a little swirl and it just looks the partings look a little natural there i absolutely love it so he's a little boy and some of you might recognize him um on my wife's channel is the same sculpt as molly so that face might look familiar but anyway guys this is the hair and thank you so much for already welcoming me back and i hope you guys enjoy the videos until next time have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys in my following video bye